What's up? Welcome back to another video. And as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing a Halloween makeup look. <laughs> button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video first um well technically second video about makeup on my channel the first one was kind of just like about my studio but this one i'm actually going to take my like creativeness and put it into a makeup look i've not done makeup in a hot minute because i've been um on a six month acne journey with accutane so i didn't want to put any makeup on my face and today we're just diving right in i have a makeup look in mind it's um to do with pumpkins it's not going to be like a full-on face um, makeup look with like face paint and I'm not going to be drawing pumpkins on my face it's just going to be a really cool eye look um, that's going to kind of be like pumpkins like with oranges and stuff like that I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching my video. I know I've been away for a little bit and I say this in every video. It's just school has been a lot lately. I have some hard subjects, math and English coming out um but i'm getting through it i'm getting through it uh, it's almost halloween so I, that's why i wanted to do this video because i really want to get into makeup on my channel and i thought this was the perfect time to incorporate it talk to you guys kind of about my life and what's been happening because i have a lot to catch up on so much a tutorial but it's going to be like a catch-up time um and i'm going to do some fun makeup so i'm just going to go ahead and put back my hair um, with just a scrunchie um, and then since I have bangs and they fall forward a lot of the times I'm just going to use a headband to simply kind of just keep them back so I just washed my face um, not too long ago so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some moisturizer because my face is still really dry from the Accutane journey um, also a video coming about that soon so I don't use any primer I just use lotion i really want to talk about school and what it's like been like for me to go into in person like high school because in grade nine i went for very literal little and then it got shut down my school and schools all over where i live because of covid um so this is my first year where i'm actually like in person and to be honest i absolutely love it um my school schedule is basically i go there from 8 30 to 2 45 and i have only two classes and a lunch and then the following week it switches the other two classes but i have the same schedule and it kind of just rotates and so it's kind of like a semester but rotating favorite part is lunch because there's so many new people that i get to meet and there's so many friends that I'm starting to make. And I'm so happy because last year was truly like a really rough year, I feel like, for everyone that was kind of starting high school. I'm going to go in my right now with my Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. It's in the shade 280. The bottle's broken, so that doesn't really help. Um, so I have to go like that to get the foundation. But before I do that, I'm going to go wet my beauty blender. I'm just going to take some of the foundation and then kind of... Um, apply it on my face where it's needed i absolutely love school um and i've been balancing it really well with dance and also like you know just my personal life um i haven't been balancing it that well with obviously youtube because i haven't posted but um i have really fun ideas coming because a lot of my friends I want to be in it so we came up this, with this really cool idea i'm not going to tell you it yet because i don't want to spoil it but um through next week i'm going to be filming it and then i'll probably upload it maybe on the weekend depending um if i have a lot of homework or anything like that can't wait for you guys to see it because i think it's going to be so fun and i think you guys are going to really enjoy it i am a competitive dancer and dance is a big part of my life um and so i kind of wanted to talk about that so we are back in the studio now which i am so grateful and i'm so happy because literally last year or like yeah like the beginning of this year or whatever um 
it was so hard going on zoom to dance every day it was literally like mentally draining because as a dancer like you need the studio you need that environment and i was dancing in my basement so obviously i didn't have the environment uh we're doing a new comp season which i'm so excited i'm gonna go in with some concealer i'm gonna go in with the two face born this way multi-use sculpting concealer this is in the shade vanilla um but this stuff is seriously so like it's so freaking good like it's literally the best thing ever also, don't judge how I do my makeup. Like, if you guys do it differently than me, um, people just do makeup differently. That's that. Oh my god, I know I'm looking like a ghost right now, but don't worry. In a couple seconds, I'll start looking more humanly. Um, but I know a lot of people like using a brush to blend out their foundation and concealer and things like that. Personally, I think the Beauty Blender does the best job for me because it really, like, pats in on on your face and your pores and it makes it look really like smooth now i'm gonna go ahead and set my face i use the cover girl uh professional loose powder um it doesn't say the shade because it's literally all broken um but i literally love this stuff so much already by just setting my face i'm looking a lot more humanly at the moment but now i'm gonna go ahead and with some gosh um bronzer i don't really know what this is either i used it for dance um they're just tiny like bronzer balls and then what i do is i go in with this angled brush it's from isabella scott sydney that kind of brand i just like that and then i start kind of with this corner here um i've been dancing at school and it's honestly so fun um we learn about um, the bones last year we're learning about the muscles this year um this uh, upcoming week i have dance so we're going to be learning about that and i think it's going to be so fun it might be a little challenging though because um obviously you're learning about the muscles and i need to go over the bones in my head to see if i remember them from last year i'm just going to go in and i'm going to kind of um do my nose so it doesn't look so blended in with my face i'm going to be using the beverly hills anastasia um dark brown um little brow compact it comes with a mirror and then a dark brown shade and then a light brown shade and i'm going to be using the matching anastasia beverly hills brush uh 7b and it comes with a spoolie and a little angled brush on the side and i absolutely love this product with the brush so it's going to be like a mix of kind of like a sharp look but a natural look at the same time my eyebrows are not have not been waxed in about six months because like i said before on um, i've been on my acne journey and my face has been really sensitive so i actually waxed my eyebrows six months ago one piece and a whole strip of my skin came off so i was like yeah can't wax my eyebrows so i'm now off the accutane i'm gonna wait about two more months until my skin really heals back up but i can't wait to wax them so it's really hard to do my eyebrows because they're like so thick michelle's palette Put it on the table here um but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to take like an orange but a not so light orange like i don't know if you can see but they have like a really bright orange that's gonna go like where we cut the crease but i need like a darker orange so i might have to mix like this orange with like a brown you know to kind of get that tone to take this um these two brown colors and then i'm gonna just go around my crease and just apply it there Make sure all of you um go follow my instagram and tiktok because there's gonna be a really cool tiktok transition um that i'm going to incorporate with this video um i don't know if you've seen the trend but it's like a song and then you kind of like you go like you put your head down and then you like transition into a new look <coughs> excuse me comment down below what you do when putting on your makeup and applying your um eyeshadow do you do one eye then do the other or do you kind of do 
both at the same time. So now that I have the brownish kind of red burgundy color, I'm going to go ahead in with this color right here. It's kind of like an orangey color, but it's not like a bright orange. And I'm just going to kind of blend it out um, like almost to my brow, but not really touching it. So then it kind of gives that ombre effect that we're really going for. I don't know if you can see that. So now I'm going to go ahead and kind of put down my palette for a little bit. And I'm going to take concealer. And basically I'm going to cut the crease. And if you don't know what cutting the crease is, it's basically just um, getting concealer and kind of doing a overall like shape with the concealer on your eyelid. So then you can go apply product on it and it can be even more vibrant. Like, I don't know, like, half circle kind of brush what I do is I just get some product on the end of it and I kind of just pat it on my lid okay so now I don't know if you can see but I cut the crease and you can clearly see that um it's like defined there's a defined line and basically all you do is you do that on the other side too obviously because you want them to match. So I'm going to go in with the same brush that I just used because it has that little bit of concealer on it. And I'm going to go in with this orange right here, the like really orange orange. I'm just going to pat it um, in that crease. And doing this really makes it like a hundred times more pigmented. Um, and you kind of just pile it on, pile it on um until it's like the pigmented and the shape that you want it to be sorry if you guys hear sirens in the background i guess there's like an ambulance or a fire truck or something then i have that i'm going to go in with a brown now not too of like a dark brown so i'm um, like to see that is like a dark brown i'm gonna go in kind of with this brown um, and I'm just going to go on the outer corner of my eye to kind of make a wing kind of shape. I don't know if you can see it kind of like that. And then I'm just going to blend it out into the orange and then also into the top colors up here. Kind of a shadow effect that it gives the eyeliner. Get midterms next week for classes. And not going to lie, I'm pretty confident, but then I'm also kind of scared for some classes because we haven't really gotten back much assignments so i don't really know what my mark is gonna look like um but i did hand in quite a bit of assignments so i guess um i might get my marks this week back um or maybe like the beginning of next week this is what the makeup look is looking so far i'm absolutely in love with it um but now i'm gonna go ahead and just take some black and then what I'm going to do is going to put like very little in my corner and kind of blend it out with the brown, but not overtaking the brown. And then I'm going to carry it underneath my eye. And I'm also going to put some in my waterline. And then I'm going to do that with my brush. And then I'm going to kind of like blend it out. So it gives that shadow or that depth. It will blend in with the eyeliner. And I don't want that to happen because I, be, I want the eyeliner to be a statement um kind of piece two today i'm going to use this matte style one because i really want it to be like super dark um and i want to do cool things with it and i really like the wand on this one so basically all i do is personally like me i start in the middle of my eye and kind of like make an arch and kind of build on that so then i kind of go into um, the wing and start making the wing and then after that's when I go into the inner corner the wing to be long and dramatic with another brow brush and I'm gonna get some black and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, under like in my uh, waterline and then also on the top Okay, so I just finished the eyes, and honestly, I am absolutely so in love with them. I'm so sad that I'm, like, not going out anywhere today um, to, like, show this off. 
Um, but before I do the eyelashes and all that fun stuff, I'm going to go ahead with this little brush. And I'm just going to dab into some of the shimmery shades. I think I'm going to go with this kind of more bronzy kind of one. Oh my god, they do have an orange shimmer. I didn't even see that. So I'm going to go into that one and I'm going to kind of just rub it across here underneath my brow not too much to take a brighter kind of shimmer i'm just gonna place it in the inner corner of my eye so now what i like doing before i put on my eyelashes i like curling my eyelashes so when i put my fake ones on um they kind of blend together and they don't um look like they're um placed are the Morpheo Rodeo um, Lash Set. Um, I do have to cut them, though, too, for my eyes because they're too big. I always do that with literally every pair of eyelashes. Um, but I like to take the Duo Brush on Adhesive with Vitamins. And this is actually the black one, so it looks like eyeliner. Little trick um, while I was at competition is I'm actually going to apply it on my eye like I would eyeliner. And then, so the eyelash looks way better. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is put these on the eyelid, stick them. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyelash. Now that I have both lashes on, I like to just grab a little bit of mascara and put it on the lashes so my real lashes and my fake lashes can kind of stick together lashes and by the way this is the essence lash princess volume mascara i absolutely love this mascara and the best thing is only like five bucks at shoppers um and it truly like works like a charm go ahead and grab like a little brush like that um and dab it into some highlighter and then just brush it on my cheeks I actually stole this lip gloss from my mom. It's Carol Baker. It's like a maroon kind of uh, color. Um, and I think this would look so good with this makeup look. This is the final makeup look. I'll insert some pictures that I'll get like close up a bit so you can actually see it. Um, this is just like me moving forward. I absolutely love this makeup look. I think it's such a good Halloween makeup look because you incorporate the darkness or the spookiness. Um, the lips really tie the look together. You have the red, um, the dark brown, and then the orange representing like the pumpkins. Um, and then the lashes are absolutely amazing. They're so dramatic. Um, I think the look just overall looks really well my foundation doesn't look cakey um my face is not dry it's moisturized and the highlight like i don't know if you can see the highlight it just adds so much more to the makeup look thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it um i kind of talked about my life in the beginning of it and kind of got more into a tutorial maybe if you guys wanted to do it but comment down below if you want to see um tutorials on how i do makeup looks and things like that happy halloween i know it's like really early um but i don't know if i'll be posting before um halloween even happens all right guys i know i'm really close up and personal right now but i just wanted to show you really close and how good and i'm so happy with how it turned out um stay tuned for another video and here comes with the pictures <laughs>